think. Um, so just a quick introduction. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Can everybody see that? All right. So I'm gonna today. <clears throat> my name is Justin Lee. I'm the cloud technical evangelist uh, for IBM. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, uh, that's my email address, justin.lee at sg.ibm.com, and my Twitter account. And today, one of the things that I'm quite excited to show you is uh, Swift on the server side. So you guys have heard about Swift being open sourced uh, last month or two, right? A few weeks ago. And one of the things that at IBM, uh, that we've actually had a partnership with, with Apple. And one of the things that we have committed to do is actually to bring Swift uh, on the server side and also actually put a lot of resources behind Swift. And one of the resources that we've created is this Swift Sandbox. How many of you have heard of it? Swift Sandbox. Yeah, a few of you guys. So this, uh, the URL is here. And one of the interesting things about Swift Sandbox, and we just released a new build in January 20th, which supports uh, mobile devices and also responsiveness and all that. So any devices out there, it'll re resize itself and you'll be able to actually play around with Swift. So this is Swift Sandbox. Follow that URL. And one of the things that it allows you to do, right, it's, it's an actual instance where you compile the Swift server-side backend. You can interact with glibc um, at the moment. So you can do like if-else. Obviously, in this uh, server-side backend, uh, it's not OS X, it's not iOS. It is, um, it is a Linux Ubuntu backend, right? And you can use glibc, you can use foundation, uh, import the foundation, and uh, you can do a whole bunch of interesting stuff. At the moment, uh, it is quite limited because this is the server-side backend, right? Um, and, but there are a lot of interesting things when you bring in glibc in and play around with certain things. Uh, one of the things that is actually interesting uh, is this source code over here. And there's actually a lot of very interesting things that you can start playing around with, uh, with this Swift sandbox. Um, it's just some sample codes here, but I think what is very interesting is uh, a sample code here that this sample code over here actually creates a Swift file, compiles the Swift file on, on the system itself, Swift a.swift, and actually runs it, right? So let's, let's, uh, let's play around with this. And uh, it actually runs it, hello world. And you can do a lot more things with this. For example, like if you're going to do a Ruby application, this, this is crazy stuff, right? But you can actually copy and paste an entire Ruby application and compile it and run it using system. I mean, this is just playing around and having fun with it. But I think it shows you a little bit about what you can do with Swift at this point of time. Uh, it is currently using the version 2.2. Uh, the versions are all up there. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I've been playing around with this, uh, this, this sandbox and there's a lot of interesting things that can do. Uh, one of the things that I think, other things like interesting is this share code. You can actually share the code with a URL and send it to your friends of what you have actually created. So this is something very simple that uh, I have to share. And I think the other thing, how many of you have played around with the server-side Swift? Ubuntu and all that, installing in Ubuntu. So I, I think um, there's very few people, but if you're really interested, there are a few things that you can start playing around with. Um, I, I just want to mention very, very quickly that on Bluemix, which is IBM's, uh, uh, IBM's platform as a service uh, based on Cloud Foundry, we actually have a Swift uh, um, build pack that you can start uh, installing into an instance and run your Swift application. So how do you go about doing that? Uh, I have a very simple Swift application here. 
that does, uh, you know, has a package. This is very similar to your uh, package.json. It's part of the specs in Swift uh, 2.2. And I have a very simple application that uses, uh, you know, uh, basically just says response and hello world. And what I do is I do a CF push and we have a community build pack already there called Swift Build Pack. And you can start running your application and testing out the server-side Swift. There are actually a lot of very interesting GitHub projects that are building on top of the Swift server-side, which is um, which uh, you can start playing around with and hosting this uh, on Bluemix. So these are the few things that I have to show very quickly, five to ten minutes. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Yes? Uh, is it uh, right now in Swift, the Swift server side. Right now, it's, I don't think it's available in the Ubuntu, but what you do is um, you go to swift.org and you actually can download the snapshot for Ubuntu right now. So you can actually do that. And this is what the build pack does also. It actually downloads the, uh, the latest snapshot into the uh, platform as a service and installs all of that and compiles your Swift application. So yeah, if you want to play around with it, it's all available here. And yeah, one of the interesting things is actually doing the whole server side uh, uh, um, HTTP requests and response and all the API stuff, which is a whole new world in Swift right now, which I'm playing around with at the moment. All right, any other questions? Yes, sir. Is this Express and Node.js? Yeah, so, so Swift is a language, but there, there isn't, or rather, there are a few upcoming uh, Express, you know, uh, equivalent on uh, that's written in Swift to do that whole Swift thing, uh, you know, with your uh, with your HTTP uh, daemon and all that stuff, right? But a lot of things, uh, this is still very H. It's still very new. It's nothing for production. It's really, really to play around with. And uh, there are a lot of, uh, just go to GitHub. Uh, there are a lot of uh, sample repository right now. And one of the sample repository um, that does um, the server side backend stuff, oops, not supposed to show you that. Uh, server side backend is called Perfect. Let me see if I have that. Perfect.org, uh, which has all the setup for. Uh, your standard HTTPD and all of that stuff um, that they're working on right now. And it's open source. So you can actually get the, um, the code on GitHub also. So this is what I, I'm playing around with at the moment. Um, that does the whole Express stuff, yeah. This is the first time I've seen. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering what use cases there. So the use case, right, really for Swift is it's a whole new world. Um, for the server side part of it, right, it, it's actually to use the language um, to do what Node.js is, right? Um, Node.js, yes, from a language perspective, there's a lot of great stuff, but I think, you know, Swift is an amazing language uh, that can bridge the, the gap between client side, which you're doing, creating iOS applications, and also on the server side, reusing your whole, your all skills, all your skills, all involved together, right? So in that sense, uh, there is still a lot of work to be done. And as Sayangi said, you know, like it's all about the community. Uh, if you are playing around, if you are playing around with uh, Swift server side. Um, there is a lot of things that needs to be recreated at the moment and uh, lots of uh, requirements to contribute to uh, GitHub, right? So like Express, there's no Express in Swift. There is a package manager in Swift at the moment uh, for Swift 2.2, um, but yeah, it's a whole new world, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things to recreate. Alright.
right. So if you have any if you have any questions, uh, I'm still around. You can ask me. Um, I, I I've been playing around with this for the last few weeks uh, on server side also on Ubuntu directly uh, and creating some uh, very crazy uh, you know low level port stuff, importing glibc and playing around with it and just trying what exactly can I do with this uh, server side Swift. All right. Thank you very much.